Hi, in this video, we're going to go over how to do a free background check in the state of Florida. Uh, to get started, come to floridapubliclrecords.net. I will have a link in the description you can click on or just type this into your browser. On the home page, you will find multiple public record databases available within the state of Florida. Uh, so depending on what type of background check you're doing, you should be able to find some, uh, some databases here to help you. So I'm going to just go over general... Uh, things when it comes to background checks and and how you can use some of these databases uh, public databases to uh, to do a, a free background check so what the possibilities are so for in, for instance uh, let's say you have a big project you want to complete in in your house big remodeling job and uh, you are in the process of hiring a contractor uh, what you can do is you let's say you have you're putting a lot of money on the line you want to make sure everything goes smooth and you just wanted to make sure the contractor is legit so what kind of a background check can you do for instance you can click on the contractor licenses research and actually look up their license how long have they had it for is it active is everything legit has have there has there ever been any issues with it things like that uh, another thing you might consider is using court records and with court records you can uh, maybe specifically target civil records or maybe if you want to look up criminal history as well you can use court records uh, for that as well but particularly maybe you want to see if there were any financial lawsuits that are related to like their type of work and so this helps you maybe uh, make a better decision when it comes to who to uh, who are you going to hand over like a large sum of money and trust them with this big project. So sometimes little things like this can be helpful. And uh, and this is a way of, of doing like quick little background checks and, and you can do them for free uh, using the database, the free database, public databases you have available in Florida. Uh, now another uh, type of a background check I'm going to focus on is a criminal background check, uh, which is probably the most sought after, I, I would say, record type when it comes to background checking. And so uh, if you hover over other records, let's click on uh, inmate search. And so uh, we because we want to we want to start at the beginning. How does a criminal record begin? So a criminal record starts when somebody gets arrested, typically by the police, the sheriff's department, and then they get uh, arrested and taken to a, a local jail. They get booked, their picture gets taken, fingerprints, and a uh, court date gets scheduled for them to go see a judge. Now, uh, this arrest information uh, can be researched at uh, the county level. So, for instance, here in Miami, uh, you can do a, an inmate search. Uh, you can do it in multiple state after state. will give you a database of arrests, and you can uh, you can find out who's been arrested. And uh, uh, not everyone will necessarily uh, keep their databases. <clears throat> Sometimes they will reset the databases as people come in. They will move old records out. Sometimes they will actually keep all the records of all the arrests that they've had uh, so it just keep that also in mind uh, just in case uh, maybe uh, in, in certain situations they just clear the databases out as soon as the person leaves the uh, the jail so uh, just something to keep in mind and sometimes they they will keep them there for a very long time so but what happens after the arrest after the arrest they have to go see a judge and so you have a couple of different options uh, when it comes to researching court records. Now, when somebody sees a judge, it creates a court document. Court records are considered public information unless it's a sensitive type of a situation. In certain situations, they won't necessarily release that information, but typically it's public records. So you have a couple of different options when it comes to researching court cases in Florida. Uh, for instance, uh, here's the first option here. Uh, you can search by first name and last name. It covers uh, multiple counties here. There's quite a few different document types. It's not every, necessarily going to cover everything, but you have uh, quite a few document types that it does cover. Uh, then you have uh, the second link here. And uh, this one here, uh, not every single county is here, but let me see here. It's uh, 30, 33 counties are gonna you can find here in this system. And I'm on the uh, criminal records page here right now. 
And so you, uh, just depending on what, uh, where the person got arrested, you would have to, that's where they're going to see the, the judge. And that's where you go uh, research that information. As you can see, if I click public, I am able to research this database for free. And as you can see, you have your uh, criminal felony records in here, um, uh, lesser crime records. Um, so uh, there, you can you can find uh, you can research the uh, the case after they get arrested and see a judge. So another thing to consider is some counties will also provide a direct. Um, uh, they will have their own uh, database that they that they run. For instance, uh, my, in Miami, uh, you will notice that they don't have criminal uh, records though in this database. So you have to make sure uh, you're looking at, at the appropriate database. Some counties won't necessarily cover everything. Like for instance, here uh, you have everything. You have your criminal records, your felony records, everything. So it just depends what county you're on. Sometimes they won't necessarily show you everything. And in those situations, what you have to do is they have these public terminals. So you can actually show up at the court or the uh, court of clerk's office and they have these public terminals. They're pretty much just computer systems that you can sit down and do your research for free on these public terminals. So you have two ways if they don't have uh, a an online system that you can research at the county level uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, show up at uh, the court of clerk's office and, and uh, request to use the public terminal system um, and uh, with uh, the next step would be the sentencing process so sometimes um, they will uh, the people will just uh, get maybe a no guilty verdict maybe if it is a guilty sometimes they'll just pay a fine uh, sometimes they will have to do some time and so that brings me back again to the inmate uh, page here. And if they get a sentence over 12 months, these are typically for more serious crimes, they will end up in the Florida Department of Corrections system. And um, and what, you, uh, what they offer is they offer a free database that uh, individuals, the public can use uh, to research. Now, I don't have an exact name. I can try something. Uh, but uh, it's probably not necessarily going to, well, there, I guess there is something here. And so uh, you can research, I just randomly picked this person here. Uh, so it'll, it'll give you uh, the, uh, the identity here, uh, some uh, description, date of birth, things like that. And then, of course, you have uh, the current uh, prison sentence history and then incarceration history. So, like, let's say this person has been one, two, three, four, five. But this is the fifth time and they're currently like incarcerated. So you're able to look at this information for free as well. So as you can see, there's quite a few databases you can use to track somebody from the arrest to the court to when they're uh, doing their time. And, the, and this can all be done for free. Um, so there are quite a few resources you have available to you. Uh, this whole website is pretty much... That's what it does. Sometimes the the uh, the state will charge you for certain things, uh, but I just went over all the possibilities that are out there, and uh, you know sometimes if you don't want to bounce from database to database, you might want to consider using a paid tool, and we do have an option for that as well. Uh, so the name search on top here, if you uh, it, just type in a first name and a last name. What it does is it pulls records. It's public records, court records, real estate records, criminal information, arrest information, financial records. It also has private databases like cell phone information, previous addresses, things like that. But it doesn't just pull records from the state of Florida. It goes outside the state too. So why might that be important? Well, first of all, it saves you a lot of time because it compiles all the databases together and it's pretty much instantaneous. Secondly, people do travel, they move around. So let's say uh, maybe they have a criminal past in Georgia or California or Arizona and now they're living in Florida. If you're just checking local records, you're not necessarily going to see what happened in those previous states. So this gives you an opportunity to get like a more of a nationwide look into someone's uh, historic past. So it's a, it's a great tool uh, to add to your arsenal when doing a, a background check. So once again, uh, visit floridapublicrecords.net and uh, get started on your free background check in the state of Florida. Thank you.